Hi everyone, Lettuce Las Maurice from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So I'm spending a month in Colombia looking at various investment and immigration opportunities. So right now I'm in Medellin and I'm going to meet up with Mauricio, my favorite agent here in town. And he's going to show me an apartment with really good views and that he believes can get us some very good rental yields. So we'll visit the apartment and then we'll do the whole breakdown of the numbers with all of the assumptions and how we get down to that exact yield calculation. All right, so let's get in this blue Mazda. Whoa, let's get started. So Mauricio, how's driving here versus driving in Sweden? Oh, it's very different. You have to be uh, more aggressive here in Colombia. You're getting nowhere. It's not like in Sweden. You can like, you, it's like uh, six acts. Like you go first, and the other person go first. Here is the one who takes no space goes first. <laughs> <laughs> you will see. <laughs> All right, here we are. All right, so nice pool. And this is the area I was talking about before, where you can uh, you can rent a tennis court, a soccer court. We need to dis uh, subscribe to the website of El Poblado. Nice. So we're on the 13th floor. Nice entrance. And I must say, I think someone has been smoking weed on this floor. All right. Huh. That's cool. Scary. Cool door. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, you need this view. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. This is one thousand and four hundred dollars per square meter. Gosh, hundred and six square meters for the apartment, two bedroom, two bathroom, less than fourteen hundred dollars a square meter. Yeah, you can see the whole city, it's really nice. Nice kitchen. Gosh, views from every angle. Yeah, it, it, every room has, uh, has a good view, actually. Wow. Okay. I, I see why this would do well with people who come uh, to, gosh, so you wake up to this view. Nice. And this is the extra room, like the smaller one. Oh, this is the small room? Cool. It doesn't have a private bathroom, but it, next door is the half bath. Okay. Or social bathroom, as you call it here, but it's not okay. cool. And this is the master bedroom. All right. So you have a nice little office. We put in right there. The view. All right. So yeah, two bedroom, two bathroom. And a walk-in closet. Walk-in closet. More great views. And here you see the green room. Here's Las Palmas when we come down from the airport on the old road before they did the. Mm. The tunnel. Cool. And the pool down there. And if you see right over there, the black building, that's El Tesoro. So the biggest mall in Old Poblado. It's less than one kilometer. Like cool. walking, like 20 minutes, maybe 15. Cool. And that's the walking closet. And walking closet. Wow. Very nice. Cool. All right. Beautiful apartment. We're going to do the numbers now. Mauricio. Wow. Wow. Yeah, incredible view, no? Yeah. I would wow. say 10 of a 10. Yeah, even 10, 10 out of a 10 view, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So, 
106 square meters, two bedroom, two bathroom. It is going for 570 million COP, so million pesos, which is approximately 147,000 US dollars. One that less than $1,400 a square meter. What about the furniture? Is that included? How do, how's that? It's not included, but it's only a 10 million. 580 with the furniture. Add in how much approximately in closing costs? 6 million? 6 million is about right. Okay, so about 6 million in closing costs. So total investment is just a bit over 150,000 USD for this apartment with the furniture, closing costs, everything. Great, now let's go into the assumptions to get to the yield calculation. How much do you think, if I were to buy this apartment right now, for this price without negotiating, and of course there's room for negotiation, yeah. so we're gonna be uh, conservative in our assumptions, you would, I would obviously want you to manage it, yeah. so you would be accountable in a year from now to show me that the, the yield you promised me actually materialized. Yeah. So how much do you think I could obtain on by renting this apartment out so between a month to a year. So to be conservative, you can rent it for six million a month, and uh, within, we we calculated with eighty percent occupancy rate. Okay. But that's also conservative because with this view, the location, it's it's a no-brainer. Cool. So just as a bit of background, we're not talking of the local market, but we're talking of renting out mid to long term to foreigners who come here, typically digital nomads and want to stay in Medellin because Medellin is absolutely booming with regards to digital nomads. Uh, millions of Americans have realized that they can work entirely remotely, that they can live in places that are more affordable, sunnier, and that don't have the whole toxic politics of back home. And these first time digital nomads, one, they want the same time zone, so here is perfect and two they want the brand names because it's their first time going around so typically they go to mexico or here in Medellin. so Medellin for american digital nomad is absolutely booming so when you're not a resident it is very hard to sign a long-term lease Long, yeah because you have no financial history so it's like if you go to sweden where i'm from uh, well, again you can't get internet you can't get a cell phone with a like a contract in your name like the internet contract can be in your name you need to find somebody to put the name in and it's, it's very difficult and that's also why you charge a little bit more it's not only because you're a foreigner or you're a tourist it's because it's harder to uh, uh, <coughs> to access and then we as a company put into this our name so we're responsible for everything to work and that's where you pay a little more but in this apartment for example you, the ideal uh, client would be two digital nomads two friends who work from uh, abroad maybe for Amazon Google they're from New York so you have the time uh, same time horizon so it's it's perfect for them and it's a win-win situation which uh, is really important yeah because um, it's important yeah because that's actually w one important key it's not more expensive just because it's Americans renting out, but because of all the regulatory issues in Colombia with regards to being able to rent out as a foreigner, as a non-resident long term. Yeah. Also, this building, you cannot do Airbnb. Definitely not. So you must rent for at least one month yeah, to minimum. stay compliant. So $1,500 a month is a very fair number. 80% occupancy, also conservative. We were sitting down, I was looking at your computer, checking out your software, all of the analytics, and you're currently typically between 85 and 90, 90. even 95% in some cases, yeah. occupancy. And uh, if you have a really good, like, eye-catching apartment, like 100% is not very unusual because, like, it's hard to find an apartment this size with this view in this area. And if you could go up seven, uh, seven millones, you could probably close a year rental deal if you find the right people. It's, look, it's very, very interesting because when you take a step back, two digital nomads, they would be paying essentially $25 a night for this place uh, each. Like objectively, that's, uh, <laughs> that's quite a good deal, especially when you're coming and you, you're coming from LA or New York or San Francisco. You get to live here, you're saving money and you have like an amazing view like this and tons of really cool restaurants, a two and a half a two, two and a half dollar Uber away from here. So that's the top line. Now let's go into the expenses. Yeah. So you take 
So running with the 80% occupancy rate, you take 10%, 10% management fee? Yeah, for the monthly. For the month. How much is the property tax? The property taxes here are three million a year. Three million a year. Yeah. So that's approximately 750 USD of property tax. What about the HOA fees, the, the common charges? So it's uh, 480 a, a cup a month, 480,000, and that rounds up to be around 5.5 a okay. year. Okay, so about $120 a month of HOA, which includes a swimming pool, there's a gym, there's a jacuzzi, there is a tanning spot. There's a there's a rooftop. As yeah, well. rooftop where like two different like uh, entrances where you can go and have like a private tanning. Cool. So we're gonna go check out the rooftop yes. after for sure. Um, Twenty four hour security, which is important for a lot of people. So that that's essentially everything you get for one hundred twenty dollars a month, which is uh, quite impressive. What about utilities? such as electricity, water, yeah, how much? Yeah, so how we, it's accounted uh, for 350 a month. And what we do on monthly rentals, we set a limit on how much you can spend on electric electricity. And we put it, normally here, I think you would spend maybe 280 mil, two, three member family. And we put it at 350. And if you go over that, for example, if you have the lights on all night, you'd never, you leave the apartment, never turn it on, off, then you have to pay for that extra. And that's actually one of the good points as a landlord, as an investor here in Medellin, because of its eternal spring. There is no air con. Electricity monthly fees are actually relatively low and you don't need heating either. And so also the higher you come up on the hill, the colder it gets. And now you're on the 13th floor. It's like, yeah. you see here, we have a good brief. It's not hot at all. So you don't need or cold. Yeah, no, it's great. Internet, how much? Uh, internet, 150 mil a month, and that's 120 megabytes. Okay. So the same as the place we saw yesterday. And in terms of maintenance, how much would you allocate on a yearly basis? Uh, highly estimated would be 250 mil a month. Okay, so that's about $750 a year for whenever there's an issue with the leak or the faucet. Or yeah, whatever. like sending a plumber, that's not more than like 80 mil maybe. and. So sending and a plumber would be twenty dollars. Yeah, about twenty dollars. Okay. For labor. Great. Cool. So once we take the all-in price with furniture, with closing costs, without negotiating, and then going with the rent of fifteen hundred USD a month, all inclusive for tenants, at an eighty percent occupancy rate, which is conservative, and we deduct all of the expenses that we just discussed and we were again conservative we get to a net yearly rental yield of 6.7 percent yeah this is uh this that's is low low estimate yeah, yeah yeah it could be it really could be higher um i can't think of many markets in the world that can give such high yields using such conservative numbers especially taking into account that the, the buying cost is actually low. You're paying $1,400 per square meter for such a view in a city of 2.5 million people that is growing. Alibaba invested here, Mercado Libre invested here. Medellin Airport is a growing base with a lot of international flights to the US, etc., and expanding fast. So it's, a, it's not only a, a value play, just buying this apartment, but it's also a high yield play. So it's attractive on multiple fronts. Cool, so now we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna go to the rooftop to Check have a look at it. Massive. And two, let me grab the camera, because you were telling me offline that there is, like Pablo Escobar apparently built one of the buildings here. Um, yeah, you can see it right from here on the, from the balcony actually. So which, which building is it? I'll, I'll zoom in on Is that white one? Yeah, so it's that white building right there with the glasses you see here. And w on the glasses, there is a p swimming pool uh, on each floor. So when each, was it built? Uh, 90, in the beginning of the 90s, early so 90s. So in the early 90s, there were already buildings with swimming pools for every apartment. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, there is maybe four or five similar buildings to this located in the Poblado area. Yeah. One of them was demolished two years ago. And uh, they have this one, they have another one a little bit further down that we know about, and they all have swimming pools. And of course, like in the 90s in Medellin, it was a big nautical culture. Well, it's still a little bit is, but 
like a big nordic culture the better the better the, the bigger the greater so they definitely want to have a private swimming pool to host the guests and the parties and uh, yeah you can just imagine wow yeah wow <laughs> all right let's go to the rooftop now yeah let's go cool so nice gym damn that's a nice place to work out oh you can go eat yeah it's fine I'm oh not, it's fine I'm because you have the view from you. a jacuzzi with some charming gentlemen so imagine <laughs> being in that jacuzzi, hanging out with these lovely gentlemen. They look very friendly. <laughs> and there you have, that's the tanning area. Tanning the area. second tanning area. Okay. We'll go out there. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow. Nice. And it's located on two different sides of the building, so you get the night, uh, the, the, the afternoon sun wow. as well. So you can... And the sun goes from the, from the mountains and down to the other side. Great, so you can come in here with some chairs and some beers and hang out with your friends as well. I guess. Wow. And here we get the whole 360 degree view. Yeah. $1,400 a square meter. Yeah. This video is just a small part of what I did here in Medellin. Click on the link below. I wrote a whole article on the real estate market in Medellin as well as a macroeconomic analysis of Colombia, highlighting some of the risks uh, related to investing here. If you're interested in investing in Medellin or buying a place as lifestyle or a mix of both, which a lot of people are doing these days, they come here for a few months and then rent out the place for the rest of the year. Feel free to get in touch with Mauricio. You can help people in English, Spanish, and Swedish. your native language, Swedish. Swedish. Great. And we have agents who speak French. And agents <laughs> who speak French as well. Yeah. Um, so his email, Mauricio's email is below, and there's a link below as well with more details on his services. Great, Mauricio, thank you very much. This is great. This was, this was like tourism for me. This yeah. is great.